let's try to find the dy dx. The first one, y is equal to 7 times sine of x. Well, dy dx is going to be 7 times the derivative of sine of x, and derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. The next one, dy dx is going to be 8 times derivative of cosine of x, which is negative sine of x. So you're going to have negative 8 times sine of x. The last one, y is 27 sine of x minus 2 times cosine of x, where dy dx is going to be 27 times derivative of sine, which is cosine, minus 2, minus 2, let me move to the right, minus 2 times derivative of cosine, which is negative sine of x. And since you have negative 2 times negative 1, you're going to have positive 2 times sine of x.